Today I want to give you some thoughts that I've been having about reverb and what I've done is, is I've, I've picked uh, six categories, technically five plus a bonus category that I've kind of divided reverbs into. These are just my thoughts. You guys can make up your own, but I've, in, I've divided reverbs into halls, uh, rooms, plates, chambers, springs, and then not really a category, but we're going to discuss it as a subcategory, non-lens. Now, I haven't divided them into convolutions or impulse responses or plug-ins and reel. Today's show is about when do I like to use a plate? When do I like to use a spring? When do I like to use a room? I tend to like spring reverbs on guitars, uh, getting a vintage vocal sound maybe like, like, like Tom Elmhurst did on, uh, on Amy Winehouse and, and maybe even using it in mono. Pretty much... I think retro vibe. Now, now I don't like them on drums and percussive elements, but that doesn't mean that I don't use them once in a while just to create that little boingy effect on a clave or something. And then plates, I tend to think of plates as being good for um, vocals. Now, plates aren't generated by, by copying a real source, so they tend to build up density fairly quickly. And so, so you kind of get the, the to the good part of a reverb sound quick, quicker on a plate. So I like them on vocals um, and, and, and with a plate, you, you, you tend to have to use a pre-delay. But that, I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. I want this to be more about why, not how. Um, now, hall reverbs, they're probably the most versatile because you can change parameters and morph them into other things somewhat easily. But I tend to like those on ballady vocals, vocals where I've got a lot of space, and I like them on, on strings. Um, I tend to think of them as, as useful on, on classic analog instrument type things. I tend to like chambers on, on drums, various instruments, uh, sometimes vocals, things that, that, that might not have been recorded through a microphone, but that went, came straight out of a synthesizer. If I want them to feel like they were recorded in a live space, I tend to go for a chamber type sound. And then rooms, I tend to like those to create small atmospheric spaces. Like say, if I want to give the impression that a guitar was recorded in a little small smoke-filled club, I'll, I'll pick a room and I'm going to show you an example of that. Non-lin uh, basically just means you take a reverb and um, gate it. So, it. so it ends pretty quickly. And, 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 and those have really some incredibly underutilized properties that make them good in several situations and we'll go over that. Let me show you non-lin on the snare sound. This is without it soloed. Okay, so one more time in the track. So that's non-lin on the snare. Now I want to show you a rap vocal with a little spring reverb, how, 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 how cool it is. Here's my buddy Viper. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Fear now, now that's double so that well, you're hearing no effects on it right now. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Feel real good when they smile for the pictures. Now here's with a little bit of spring reverb. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. You hear when I stop, you hear it kind of tail off. Now let's 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 take that spring reverb and put it in mono. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Feel real good when they smile for the pictures. Feel even better when they pass me the liquor. Everyone gonna have fun. Let's check it out in the track. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Feel real good when they smile for the pictures. Feel even better when they pass me the liquor. Without it. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Feel real good when they smile for the pictures. Feel even better when they pass me the liquor. Let's try non lin on, on Viper's voice. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Without it. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. In the track. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Feel real good when they smile for the pictures. Feel even better when they pass me the liquor. A little piece without it. Yeah, I know where y'all can find me. Marsh pit flow with my fans behind me. Feel real 
That sounds good too. That's a tough choice between that and the spring. To state the obvious, the most important thing in a, in a, in a rap song is the rap. And, and the mo most important thing about the rap is that you understand the vocals and that the timing and feel of the vocals is, is, is paramount also. So when you put reverb on a vocal, on a rap vocal, it's cool and you hear that a lot nowadays but uh, sometimes you, you want the effect of a reverb without having the intelligibility of the uh, lyric compromise that sort of thing so so the spring reverb just has a way of of of, of doing reverby things without any of the negative things that you might get from a traditional reverb like making the the vocal sit back too far. Rap has to be, you know, pretty close to in your face. Um, doesn't have to be. It's not like it's not like I made the rules, but that's just the way I, I, I tend to like to hear it. So, the spring reverb did a pretty good job of doing that. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a at a rock song. Now I've got an acoustic guitar. What I'm trying to accomplish in the mix with this acoustic guitar is, is I'm 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 just as concerned with the rhythmic component that it's adding to the mix as I am for the harmonic content. So I want it to be up front, but yet I wanted it to sound like it was recorded in a small club, just to give me that vibe. Now I'm, I'm using the Bricasti again for that, but you can use any any of the um, impulse responses, any 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 of the, 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 the you know, you can find these presets on, on just about any reverb. <laughs> Here's the acoustic guitar dry. Here's with the uh, little music club. Kind of a long decay, but it works in the mix. Let's try it in the mix. Okay. It, it kind of gave it a space because uh, everything else has, has its own kind of nice space because all these instruments are, are recorded in a, in, a, in, a, in a room, a real nice studio in Chicago. And uh, so, so that kind of gave it a nice space. Let's try the, uh, the room on a, on, a, on a lead guitar sound. It was recorded in a room, so it doesn't need much. without it. Okay, in the mix with, without it. With. Now, let's compare that to what it would sound like if we, if we used our spring reverb. Ooh, that's gonna sound nice. With it in the mix. Without it. Man, that's the one. So let's add the delay that I had on back to it and listen to it in the mix. Makes me tingly. Now on the vocal, Robert, the lead singer and uh, producer of the band, I chose a, a, a hall on, on, on his vocal. He's got kind of a, um, a classic sound. So let me play it to you the way it's, the way it's in the mix. I was lost and walking on a docking road. Dry. I was lost and walking on a... Don't need to listen to much of that. Okay, now let's check it out in the mix. We'll do it dry first. We'll change it up. That's kind of a cool vibe. I'm not mad at that. I've got uh, got a couple of uh, slap reverbs and things like slap uh, delays, so it's, it's 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 cool. But I think this just gives it the 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 uh, um, I don't know. It just makes it sit in the same space as everything else. 
Exaggerate it for you so you can hear it. I was lost walking on a talking road. Pretty dramatic. Okay, guys, this is a, a plate on the same vocal. I was lost and walking on a talking road. I was lost walking on a talking road. I actually like that better. It seems to, the plate's brighter. It gets to the density quicker. It's got a little pre-delay. So let's check that out with, with, without it. I was lost walking on a talking road. I was lost walking on a talking road. Okay, so we've, we've gone through some examples of uh, several different categories. So I hope you got something out of that. And remember, um, there's, there's no rules, there's no laws, there's no reason why you have to follow these. These are just some guidelines of what I think about when I'm deciding on what reverb I want to use.